And now, Revelation Fireside. July the 14th, 2016. In France, a large tractor trailer plowed into a large crowd leaving a fireworks display, killing over 80 people and injuring more than 100, in yet another terror attack on French soil. Witnesses said the truck picked up speed and rammed the crowd where it was at its thickest, at more than 30 miles per hour. Leaving bodies littered on the streets, the carnage sent the crowd into a panic, running in fear, after which the driver came out of the vehicle opening fire on pedestrians. Police responded returning fire killing the attacker. John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. September 20th, 2015. In the spirit, the Lord reveals larger passenger vehicles is increasingly being used for terrorist attacks in the West. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Prophecy, June 29, 2016. Similar to the guerrillas and drug dealer treaties with governments of South America and the Far East, a consortium of worldwide terrorists will attempt to hold mankind at ransom with unbelievable terror. They will escalate until they are able to secure a treaty or the like with world governments. This will tip the balance of the emergence of a world leader who will negotiate on behalf of the terrified human race. Like guerrillas of the past, the new terrorist organizations and their leaders will seek to become world leaders to enforce their mode of living upon the rest of mankind. It is a shadow of the government of the Antichrist. Revelation, March 1st, 2015. In the spirit, the following words are heard. France will come under attack. December the 2nd, 2015. Police in San Bernardino, California, said 14 people were brutally massacred when two Muslim terrorists entered into a facility heavily armed with guns and a pipe bomb and began shooting indiscriminately. This being America's worst terrorist attack since September the 11th, has law enforcement and civilians on edge. Shocking details unveiled that one of the attackers was radicalized by his wife, a Muslim woman he met and married from Saudi Arabia, who was said to have spearheaded this horrific massacre, pledging her allegiance to ISIS moments before the attack. The woman also opened fire on police who gave chase, killing them both. Authorities found over 5,000 rounds of ammunition and several guns and bombs at the couple's home who employed the mass use of guns, in this heart-rending tragedy. John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. The Ninth Hour Book, released the ninth day of the ninth month, 2009. Page 191, terrorists will increase their massacres to include, mass use of guns. Prophecy, May 10, 2015. In a vision, a Muslim female is used to conduct a terror attack in the USA shortly. April the 16th, 2016. Scores of people are dead after a massive mega 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck the coast of Ecuador. The quake caused a bridge collapse in its most populous city, hitting at a shallow depth of six miles. Both Ecuador and Colombia are being advised to head for higher ground, in wake of a tsunami alert. John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Prophecy, June 28, 2015. In a vision, the Lord reveals a major earthquake in Ecuador, South America. 
It is wise to take all precaution where possible. Mankind need to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, the one who can credibly reveal things to come. John 13, 19. 12 days prior. At New York City harvesters were in Ecuador issuing a warning to the country. Yes, yes, trouble is coming upon the earth. Trouble is coming upon this land. And it's time to get saved. It's time to turn your life to Jesus. That's why we are here. It's time to get saved, Ecuador. Turn your life to Jesus. Don't be afraid. Access right in your life. We are here to warn the city. It's time to get saved. It's time to turn to Jesus. It's time to get saved. The Harvest Army Church International Presence, Pearls of Prophecy. A prophetic masterpiece with over 200 scriptural guidelines on how to prophesy accurately, without failure. Prophecy being the final magnet of the gospel, reveals God's will for mankind. Between the covers of this priceless pearl, you will get into the depths of the prophetic, from the reasons to prophesy, to how to receive the gift and gripping fulfillments. Prophecy, August 9th, Prophecy, Prophecy. January 25, 2015. In a vision. In a vision. Revelation, March 9th, 2014. The Lord reveals a major explosion in China. August the 12th, 2015. A massive explosion hit a dangerous goods warehouse in China. Revelation, March 1st, 2015. In the spirit, the following words are heard. France will come under attack. August 22nd, 2015. An attack on France was foiled in Paris, when a Moroccan terrorist armed with an AK-47, a pistol and a knife opened fire on a train injuring several on board. Folks, Ebola! This warning came from the Lord. It came through prophecies that were prophesied on television to the world in New York City, they were warned at least, through Harvest Army Church International. Prophecy, December 8, 2013. In a dream, a, dread, a dreadful disease or plague arises from a bird-like creature or bat. It begins in the northern hemisphere of the earth, then spreads to Africa where it does much damage. Scientists have found evidence of the African Ebola virus in Asian fruit bats, suggesting that the virus is far more widespread around the world than had been previously known. Pearls of Prophecy is now available at HarvestArmy.org, Amazon and Zulonvest.com. Get your copy today. Join us for an earth-shattering event. World Vision Day. Where believers in every country storm the streets to declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. The signs of his coming. On one day, October the 1st, 2016. With one voice for one hour at 12 noon. The only thing will matter is what you did for King Jesus. The harvest is plenteous. Praise the Lord, hit in the street for Jesus, man. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the end of all things is at hand. Lord, visit this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Estamos invitando acá lo que es en Perú. We break every chain of sin. Parte de él también una visión mundial. Señor Gentes, 2 de julio. Even mega churches embrace the day for world evangelism, corner to corner. Sons and daughters prophesy. Completely breaking the language barrier. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's 
Also featured in Charisma magazine, the largest Christian magazine worldwide. Also featured in Love Express, The Daily News and more, with the participation of former NBA star player, coach commentator Pastor Mark Jackson, and his church True Love Fellowship. His name is Jesus! His name is Jesus! Not Buddha! Not Mohammed! Not Islam! Says, look at me and be saved! We're in the game! For I am God! And there's no other! Calling on all churches to join us on World Vision Day. This World Vision Day, this isn't just a good idea. We challenge Christians to go and resurrect their cities. No, this is a Holy Ghost God idea. And it's not going to die. It's not a fad. And we're here to proclaim our Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. Responding, Responding to, to the clarion call. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I am with Visit worldvisionday.org and enlist today. The great outpouring is here. This is World Vision Day, so get out there and see what's going to happen. It's not something that just started. Now this is going to shake the world. Today's sermon, a new thing. A new thing. A new paradigm. That's why God laid it on his servant. A new thing. It don't make sense they fight it. Because this new thing is first a prophecy. It's not just a desire. It's not just a great idea. This new thing is a prophecy. Somebody say a new thing. Someone said, I knew they. Someone said, prepare to meet thy God with a new thing. Someone said, a new thing. This new thing is a prophecy. You know, sometimes you try to do something good and folks just do some things that discourage you. And you want to stop. But not when there is a prophecy. For anything God prophesy, it can never fall to the ground. Whether you're weak or strong, or down or up, or fat or thin, or black or white, Rakasha, as long as there's a prophecy, you ain't with me, Jamaica, you're not coming with me. As long as there's a prophecy, this new thing, this new thing, this prepare to meet that God, new thing begins with a prophecy. In Matthew 24, verse 14, he said, The gospel of the kingdom shall be preached, hallelujah, as a witness, and then shall the end. Somebody say, The end. Are you getting me? I'm talking a new end time thing. I got a mercy. And God says, This will happen. Is prophetic in no matter what we do we cannot stop it someone said a new thing it begins with a prophecy the gospel of the kingdom you're gonna preach every one of you gonna preach come on come on you didn't hear what I said every one of you gonna preach the gospel and Jamaica gonna shake. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on there. You didn't hear what I said? I said, Jamaica, power of it. When you finish in the next few days, they're gonna wonder if it's the same country. Because when preaching go forward, things change. Come on, somebody. You're gonna see so much change. Come on, the politicians gonna wonder where so much power come from. Come on, somebody. For God says in Romans 1 and verse 16 and verse 17, I am not ashamed. 
of the gospel of Christ you in helping me for it is the power of God unto salvation Jamaica and the world are about to see so much power they never seen in their lifetime because the congregation Ramakataba has taken up the mantle the preacher the gospel of the kingdom hallelujah hallelujah somebody say a new thing this new thing begins with a prophecy not only does it begin with a prophecy but it continues with a people not a man not a one man not a two man not a bishops only I lost you not a pastors only not a elders only am I gonna lose you come on not a choir leader only not a deacon only this new thing continues to a people in the past in the olden bible days God will look for one man and two men but God has begun that's gone beyond that he says in Joel 2 verse 28 preach it my church he says in the last days I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh rapakasha rapakataya ranarabah this new thing is to a people a whole people born again born again save sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost living a holy life God said this new thing is for you get ready Jamaica get ready Africa get ready South America get ready Australia get ready Europe get ready get ready get ready a new thing a new thing a new thing some of them are new thing some of them prepare to meet thy God with a new thing a new thing begins with a prophecy he that had begun a good work will perform it to the end for the end is better than the beginning somebody say hallelujah a new thing is about to rock Jamaica is about to rock the world and this new thing is a prophecy that's number one this new thing continues with a people boys girls handmaids new bodies hallelujah did i say nobody sit down in 2009 i took off my name of all media i moved my name no tv program since 2009 I have my name on it we just preach probably to be called a man come on just a preacher come on everybody can do the same but i'm not telling you what i did I don't know if I can handle it. I prefer be a nobody. I'm just a nobody trying to tell somebody about somebody who can change anybody. Any nobody here, lift up your hand. If you are nobody, Makasha. If you are nobody, lift up your hand. Rapakasha. If you are nobody, God is about to use you. Give him praise. 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 God is about to use you. Somebody say a new thing. Somebody say a new thing. This new thing begins with a prophecy. And it continues with a people. Say amen say amen. amen then it continues with a plan the devil think we only anointed and we don't know what we're doing when i walk in this place i know it's not just the anointing bishop use come on somebody when i walk in his first class please 
Presidents can sit at ease in there. Come on, somebody. Come on, and walk and say, what kind of place is this? Come on, it's about four places I'm going to since I come. Come on, I feel comfortable in everyone. Come on, it's not just the anointed. You can be anointed, but shabby. Come on, somebody. And have no excellence, but anointed. So you can't pass 50 members. I'm going to get in trouble here. You're full of power, but you ain't got no plan. Shibaba Shabakaya. Rapakata, but this new thing have a plan. They can look down on us no longer and say we are only holy rulers. Come on, somebody, we know what we're doing under God. Like God anointed Gideon, even though Gideon was anointed, God gave a plan to put the people in tree. Shiba Basata Rapaka divide the people in tree and release them. Shiva Shiba Basata Rapaka. Somebody see a new thing. Somebody see a new thing. This new thing has a plan. Mark 16. Verse 15, he said, go preach the gospel to every creature. Come on. Not only every believer must preach, but you must reach every creature. Pastor, you have a plan not to reach every, every creature? No, it's flawed. That's why every church must be connected to a world church. No matter your church small. You see how the bishop anointed that ministry tonight in St. Mary? That pastor is smart. He makes sure he's connected. It's a world thing. You're not local people. You are global people. Come on, somebody. You live on the block, but you're not part of the block. Come on, somebody. This world is not your own. Come on, somebody. You're only passing through. You're big. You ain't small. You ain't saying amen. You ain't saying amen. Hallelujah! You have to have a global home, but you are globally local or locally global. Hallelujah! So your plan, he says, go and preach the gospel to every creature. Black people, white people. When those harvesters went to Ecuador to prophesy the earthquake, they knew no English. No English. You know what they did? They took a phone and speak English into the phone and press translate. And come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And release the Spanish. Come on, somebody. Rakasha. In this plan. Hallelujah. When you finish, you must be able to say like Paul, I fought, I could fight. Hallelujah. I finished my course. Somebody say a new thing. Somebody say a new thing. In our ministry, we have decided that every pastor in the world is going to hear about World Vision Day. Every pastor in the world you ain't saying amen. amen then we say every church in the world come on that didn't move you then we say every believer in the world they must take it or leave it they must receive it or get rid of it but they're gonna hear about it they're gonna hear about this new thing Good. they're gonna hear about the call on their life they're going to hear that there's a call come ringing over the restless ways. Send a light. There are souls to rescue. There are souls to save. Send a light. They are going to hear my voice in Philippi. 
means. Say amen. Say amen. Some of you, your bishop going to send you to Brazil. Come on. You don't need no visa for Brazil. And Brazil is the seventh most strongest country economically. Brazil is like America. So if you find it hard to get your visa to go to America, go to Brazil. Come on, somebody. I lost her right there. I lost her right there. Go and preach in Brazil and pass through with a Jamaican passport. Glory to God. Go over to Philippines. You don't need no American visa for Philippines. Just show your Jamaican passport and pass through. If you have been blessed by today's message and what God has been doing through this ministry, we ask that you support and help us to spread this vision throughout the world. The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. God is magnifying His word through prophecy, and many atheists, religions, and non-believers are beginning to take notice. Your generous contribution will help save and change lives. The impact of your seed may save a generation. For God's revival has truly come upon the earth. So call today and make a tangible donation with the assurance that your seed will restore lives throughout the ends of the earth. Call 718-696-2769. That's 718-696-2769. Or you can visit us at harvestarmy.org slash give. Give your seed, throw out the lifeline, and don't let another soul slip away. God said in His Word that He would prove Himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through His servants. On HarvestArmy.org, prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our Revelations page every day. The website is www.harvestarmy.org. That's www.harvestarmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.